Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I want to talk to you about an Alice Pack chair modification. Stay tuned. One of the issues that I have when I'm out backpacking, uh, bushcrafting, practicing my survival skills, is that there's almost never a really good place to sit. And there's a lot of lightweight uh, stools and various things you can take up along with you. Of course, you can always, you know, put something down on a log and sit on that. But often, like today, uh, it's a very wet environment. We've had rain now for two days. And so everything is just really damp, really wet. And on top of that, you need something to sit down on that has a back to it so you can kind of lean back and relax. Believe me, there's nothing more exciting than thinking of going to camp, putting up all the stuff that you need, and having a comfortable chair. The problem is they're bulky, they take up a lot of room, and uh, it's just something extra to carry. So I came up with an idea a few years ago that incorporates the Alice Pack and I'm actually wearing the chair right now. It's the backpack frame. And I want to show you how to do that and I also want to show you which chair I use so that if you love the Alice pack as I do and many other people do, you'll be able to do this modification to your pack as well. So stay tuned. So like I've already showed you, but here a little more clearly, you can see just a standard Alice pack and this is the large size and I did add a sternum strap to it. I just find it kind of holds things together a little better. Other than that, uh, the shoulder straps and the waist pad are standard equipment, but I'm gonna show you how it's fastened on because that is the real secret to making this system work. So one of the things I wanted to do today as I show you this system is I wanted to go ahead and uh, boil some water and uh, have a little hot apple cider just out wandering in the woods. And... oil going on. That's good. Take it off the stove here. Get that finished burning off. Some hot cider in here. It's times like these you really appreciate having a good place to sit. Something hot to drink, just looking out across the landscape, 
down the creek. It's a beautiful afternoon. Birds and squirrels, soft sounds, the water as it flows by and trickles across the rocks down there. So again, taking this off is just like any other backpack. If you're used to the Alice packs, the very same thing. What I've got here, however, is a chair that fastens in to the pack. And I'm going to get a little closer shot here. I'm going to take it apart for you, show you how simple this system is. So the chair that I've used for this Alice Pack modification is this chair right here. It's uh, made by Timber Ridge. And I'll make sure and put a link down in the description box below. There are several different variations of this sold by different manufacturers that will work. But it is the high-backed shooter stool, as you can see and it's just hunting gear. It has a weight capacity of 225 pounds and uh, I'll show you the back here, the dimensions, get a little better idea of what it will do and the size of it. Anyway, uh, I just bought this at one of our local stores. It's a Mossy Oak uh, licensed uh, product so that's kind of neat. Anyway, so this is a simple modification. What you do is you take all of the straps and you take the not, not only the the shoulder straps but you also take off the belt off of the Alice pack uh, frame if you have it uh, if you don't have it you can find them online they're still plentiful and readily available and so I'd encourage you to do that but basically how it's held on it's uh, it has these side straps here that are for the backpack and you just loosen these like this, there's one on each side. And when I got this pack, it was, I had some issues here, so I did stitch it a little bit heavier. But anyway, you do that. You see it starts to open up. And then this part here that goes over top of the frame, it just slips out. And now we have the Alice pack, which is just the bag by itself. As you can see, with these side straps that hold it together. So it's held on by these two attachment points here that go around. And then this pocket like at the top of your Alice pack frame. We just set that aside. And now we have our chair. And as you can see, what we've done is we've attached, just using the regular attachments, attached the shoulder straps. To the chair here and here and I did add a bit of a shoulder pad for where it grows across your back uh, this is just a velcro shoulder pack that they make for backpack straps for extra padding and I just fastened it on there and at the bottom the same basic thing hope you can see this this is the uh, the back pad and it's just fastened on the bottom just a simple loop fastened in around and then around this side. So it's a really, really simple fa fastening system. And again, you're just substituting this chair frame for the Alice pack frame. And so to use it, you just open it up like this, you flip the back open, and there we have it. We have a nice seat with a backrest, and it literally is our Alice pack frame. And you can see, works really well. I can lean back on it and it's very very comfortable. It's a great chair. I highly recommend it. Alright so to fold this chair up is very simple. This just folds like this. You rotate this down 
and I do want you to notice that the straps are on the back portion of the chair. So once this opens up, then this closes down. Also, another function of this chair that I'd even point out is that it actually has a zippered pouch on this as well. So there's actually some storage in the bottom of the chair, and that's pretty useful on top of everything. And that's what it looks like. It gets a little bit dusty and dirty when you set it down on the ground, but as you can see, it's, it's not horrible. And that's kind of what it looks like. So then we rotate this down like so, and then this portion here, this part of the, the seat, becomes what goes over top of the Alice pack. So we just take this pocket area here, I talked about earlier, and we just slide it up in here, just like this. Okay, got it slid up in there, you can see there. And then we go to this section here and making sure that all of this strapping and stuff is out of the way. And we just simply go around these two bars, we locate our, our tab, and feed it through. There we go. It's one side. We flip it over and we do the other side. Again, around these two. Loop it in. Back in the buckle. Pull it tight. And there we go. And our backpack is reassembled. It's literally that quick and that easy. That's what it looks like. Of course, waist belt, padding, and then down here at the bottom, just fasten on with like a lark's head as you just loop it through its own loop. And it this can slide back and forth, of course, on this bottom bar. Again, very similar to the way it fastens onto the Alice pack frame. All right, so there we have our pack. It's easy to put on. Get all of our straps fastened back. The waist belt fastened. And there we go, just like that. Great Alice pack, backpack, you can find these everywhere. Uh, this chair, not that expensive, and uh, sometimes a lot easier to find these chairs than it would be an actual Alice pack frame. So, all right, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure to press that bell button to stay that you... Somebody's shooting in the background. So. Hello, welcome.
Welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today I've got a great thing to show you. I've got a great backpack. It's a modification, an Alice pack, and it's a great frame. If you can't find a frame, you can buy this thing at your local store or order it from Amazon. It's a great backpack. You should get it. You should do it. You should modify your pack like this. Oh yeah!